How you doing folks? This is Nelson George with another uh, episode of Follow the Sound. I'm on the corner of Bleecker and Thompson and behind me is a CVS. Okay, <laughs> not very interesting. But if you look up, you can see at the top up there, you see a little sign. And you can see it a bit there. That sign uh, is for the village gate and top of the gate. At this corner, at the CVS, was one of the best, most interesting concert venues in New York City. Uh, it opened uh, in 1958. It had a 38 year run. Uh, everybody played there. Um, it was also not just a music spot, it was also a, a spot for comedy. Uh, the National Lampoon used to do gigs there. Chevy Chase and John Belushi did their first gigs in New York there, before, way before they were on Saturday Night Live. Uh, the comedian Flip Wilson recorded a comedy album there. Uh, it's one of the spots where jazz really was showcased. There was in fact uh, a series there called Salsa Meets Jazz. It was very popular where you'd have salsa bands play with a great jazz soloist. And by my count, 37 live albums were recorded right there at that CVS, AKA the Village Gate, Top of the Gate. And one of those actually came out last year. John Coltrane with Eric Dolphy, Evening at the Village Gate. It was recorded in 1961. It just was released last year. Uh, so the range of music and performance that was recorded at the Village Gate is outstanding. Uh, one of the real major venues for music in New York that I came to often when I was uh, trying to learn about music. Now one of the interesting things about, while wow, this is a CVS and you know we have too many CVSs, there is some legacy of the Village Gate that still uh, is around. So I'm walking down Bleecker. I'm cutting down Bleecker past some buildings and staff statues and scaffolding. And uh, right here, if you can see it, that red awning is Le Poison Rouge, which was a concert venue and, and the basement. And actually, apparently part of the footprint of what was the Village Gate uh, is the L uh, is the Poison Rouge these days. I actually saw a couple of great shows there. Of the singer Miguel, I saw the funk legend Steve Arrington there. So it's not really a jazz spot, but it is a music venue, continuing the tradition of the Village Gate. By the way, if you want to, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and uh, more to come. Nelson George, follow the sound.